Hi, I'm Kira Lee Condon. I'm an extension agronomist for ARI in South Eastern Australia. And today I'm going to give you a brief summary of the latest ARI insight on chaff lining. Is it too good to be true? Well, chaff lining has been on this amazing rapid rise to glory in the harvest weed seed control scene in the past few years. Uh, a weed smart survey conducted in 2017 showed that the number of growers chaff lining um, increased from 6% in 2016 to 26% in 2017, and this is mostly at the expense of narrow windrow burning. We all know the, uh, the hassles associated with that. So what's caused this rapid rise to glory? Well, there's really been no uh, research data available. So we think primarily it's been the uh, amazing exchange of information on Twitter with growers sharing their, their chaff line shoot designs, their baffle designs, etc. Um, but it's also probably due to the fact that chaff lining is the cheapest form of harvest weed seed control tool available. Pete Newman uh, recently outlined this um, in an RE Insight where he valued chaff lining at about $6.40 a hectare. Now that is based on a commercially available chaff lining uh, kit which costs around $5,000 but obviously uh, growers are making their own chaff lining kit quite successfully. So uh, at $6.40 per hectare, uh, do you get what you pay for? Is it too good to be true? Well, fast forward to 2018 and we now have some great research data coming through thanks to a team of researchers, uh, John Broster from Charles Sturt Uni, Michael Walsh and Annie Rayner from Sydney Uni and Annie Rutledge from the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. So this research is quite new. They um, conducted pot trials um, over summer last year using chaff collected from uh, commercial paddocks. Um, they spread weed seeds um, across soil surface and placed increasing quantities of wheat chaff uh, um, on top of those weed seeds. And they measured emergence um, over time of the weeds. Um, they found that as the chaff quantity increases, the level of weed emergence decreases, that was um, annual ryegrass to be specific, but they also uh, looked at south thistle emergence and found that much uh, lower quantities of chaff um, were able to suppress um, south thistle compared with annual ryegrass. They also looked at um, chaff types, so they compared wheat chaff with barley chaff, canola chaff and lupin chaff to see that if that had an impact on weed emergence. Now the results were variable and this um, research will continue um, but it looks like the um, impact of crop type is largely dependent on the chaff proportion of that particular crop or variety. Now the researchers also uh, conducted field trials um, last summer so uh, they looked at, wind, uh, at rotting of the weeds within those chaff lines. Um, obviously rotting is something that occurs over time so those measurements are still um, continuing and we will be following them up when they're ready. So in summary we know that chaff lining is not going to be 100% effective and growers need to be prepared to see green strips in their paddocks particularly in high pressure situations but the great thing about this research is showing that as we build up our chaff lines year after year we will see uh, significant reductions in weed emergence. And look, in reality, anything that confines weed seeds to concentrated bands in the paddock where a proportion are physically prevented from emerging, another pro proportion are potentially destroyed by rotting and the remainder emerge to basically become sitting ducks for targeted weed control has got to be a good thing. Read on for more information in this RE Insight.